So I'm coming to you today from in front of the Barnes & Noble, which is like my daughter's favorite shop in town. I wanted to film in front of the mall, uh, but they have policies against that sort of thing. Anyway, today I wanted to draw your attention to something that I know all of you have experienced, but it's something that I want us to be praying about anyway. Uh, we are in a weird uh, commercial environment these days. Uh, a few weeks ago, you know, middle of the summer, my family and I were able to go on a vacation to Florida. We went to Disney World. It's one of our family traditions. We meet my parents from California out there and we have kind of a week together. And while we were out there, I noticed it didn't feel as much like Disney as normal. And one of the big reasons it didn't feel as much like Disney was that there was a much different vibe with regard to the employees who were working there. Specifically, there weren't any. I mean, they did have enough employees to run the rides, but it was so much smaller in terms of the number of employees that they had a lot of different things closed. A lot of the shops at Epcot Center were closed, and, and it just didn't have the same kind of Disney feel that it usually had. And I'm struck with this odd reality of our lives, that our economy is up and down and all over the place. There are people who are working and finding great success. There are people who are not working and finding great success. And there are people who are not working and hurting and people who are working and they're hurting. It's a mess. So today we're going to spend some time praying for the economic health of Lafayette and Tippecanoe County. We're gonna pray for the employers who are looking for high quality employees. We're gonna pray for employees who are hungry for high quality, good paying jobs that can help them take care of their families. And we're gonna pray for you and me. You see, one of the lies of the American economy is that we have to be people who are constantly wanting more. Behind me is Best Buy. It's like one of my favorite stores to go in and just remind myself of all the cool things I don't yet own and sometimes walk out with some of those things. But we live in a society that is constantly telling us that we should want more. But at the same time, the Apostle Paul, whenever he makes a list of sins, he always puts greed near the top of that list. We need to be people who know what it means to participate in an economy that works well for everybody while not falling prey to the greed that is so selfishly motivated. That's why I say we need to pray for ourselves too. I want us to pray for the entire economic situation in our county, for the employers, for the employees, for the business people, for the hourly workers, and for ourselves. That we would be in a God-honoring economy that blesses everybody with as much equality as we can and that God would use us and this part of the world to be a major blessing from this city to around the world. Join me in that prayer today.